Hey everyone, I'm here to do my wrap up video for the month of July. Um, I managed to read 14 books if I'm correct, so I'll show you the books that I read in the whole month of July and I will tell you a little bit about what I thought of them or think of them because I have a couple that I'm still reading. Um, let's get started with the first three. Um, I've been reading those digitally so I don't have a copy to show you. But I read Breathe by Sarah Crossan. I got an arc um, of that book. It is a dystopian and based on a world where oxygen is limited and everyone lo lives in a pod. And the story basically tells you about four teenagers who struggle uh, with living in the pod. Um, and um, two of them are going on holiday outside the pod. They have like those uh, oxygen masks but things don't go as planned and they take a refugee with them so um, I really really like that one it's um, maybe a little bit more for younger readers but I really enjoyed the book I gave it 5 out of 5 because I thought the story was very well written um, but yeah, maybe that's a little bit for the younger readers. It, um, it's not on the same level as The Hunger Games or um, Divergent, for example. Then I read A Jesse Hart's New York City by Kara Stainton. I also got an arc of that one. Uh, it was a really cute read, nothing too special in my opinion, but a really feel-good book and I really liked it. I gave it 4 out of 5. So, yeah, I believe it's published now for a week weeks I'm not sure but it was not published when I read it but it is now and then I read Wildfire by Carson Knight and this one just came out last week um, I got an arc uh, from Simon & Schuster on Galley Grab and I really really liked it I had some difficulties with his writing style um, in the beginning it just felt like he was trying too hard it wasn't um, going smoothly um, it felt choppy, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I had difficulty um, trying to follow it around. Um, some parts were really, really well written and then there would be a part when I was like, what the is going on here? So, I had some difficulty with that, but I have to say that he is a really, really good cliffhanger writer. Um, the last five pages alone would be enough to make me want to read the second book and I think those of you who read the book will know what I mean I thought it was really well done and I gave it 4 out of 5 and those were the digital books that I have read in the last month um, then I have a whole pile of uh, real books that I've read I read um, The Darkest Pleasure by Gina Showalter which is the third book in the Lords of the Underworld series um, really good book, um, definitely adult material, but I really, really liked it. I think I gave it 4 out of 5, and, um, if you're looking for a good, uh, paranormal romance-y type read, um, in adult fiction, I would recommend picking up this series, because Jin Showalter has a great writing style, and it's just really easy to read, so, yeah. Then I read... Um, Perfect Chemistry by uh, Simone Alcalaz. Um It was a bit cliche and the epilogue was way over the top, but I really liked reading it. Um, it was just a nice summer read. Um, I think I gave this 4 out of 5 as well. Um, yeah, I liked how Elkles built um, the relationship in this one. I'm a sucker for building relationships. But... The epilogue, oh, come on. I'm not a fan of the epilogue. But, really good read, I would recommend it. And I'll be looking forward to the second book in the series, which I already ordered. But, since I pre-ordered the paperback edition, I will have to wait a couple of weeks for that to come in. Then I read Looking for Alaska by uh, John Green, and that came out wrong. But, um, I really like this book. I uh, missed some closure in the end. But I guess that's the whole point of the story. Um, yeah, I really liked reading it. Um, some scenes were really, really, really funny. And I liked John Green's books. This is the first real only 
John Green solo book. Um, and yeah, it was really, really good. I'm really looking forward to reading more of his work. I have Paper Towns and um, An Abundance of Catherines uh, on its way. So we'll be reading those shortly. I think I gave this four out of five as well. Then I have two more adult uh, books. I read Passion Unleashed and um, Desire Unchained by um, Larissa Eown. These are book two and three in the Demonica series. Um, these are not suitable for younger readers, but the series is really, really good. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where the series um, continues because um, the three main characters in this book are already discussed. So I guess we'll be seeing more of Gem, <clears throat> I think. But it's a really good series. I really like it. But I discovered that there are only five books in the series, so I don't want it to end that soon. So I will be slowing down my reading in that series. But I think I gave them both four out of five. Then I read Falling Under by Gwen Hayes. And I gave this three and a half out of five, uh, mainly because... There's insta-love in this book, and I hate that. I want relationships to build. You don't fall in love with each other and then, Oh, we're going to be together forever, and I will risk my life for you and my soul. And that's what really annoyed me in this book. But um, Gwen Hayes has a great writing style. It's really easy to read. I like the world that she built, or the, the plot that she worked up to. So, um, if you're don't have a problem with insta love I would recommend picking up a copy of this one because I think um, it will be a great great read for you however if you do not like insta love um, I just warned you um, the story is great but yeah it annoyed me but we'll definitely be reading the second book in the series though and then I started my uh, I don't even know how much many um, times I've read this, but I started another reread session of my Harry Potter series. So I read The Philosopher's Stone and The Chamber of Secrets, um, of course, by J.K. Rowling. Um, I will be reading those um, somewhere in between the rest of the books that I'm reading. Um, I won't be reading them all one on uh, after another um, I'll just spread it out but I'm really looking forward to reading um, Half Blood Prince and Deathly Hallows again because last time I reread the series I got stuck after book 4 and my reading mojo was gone so I didn't finish my reread so yeah I don't even have to say what I think about those Fine. I love Harry Potter then um, I read my first Sarah Dessen book, Keeping the Moon. Um, it's a really cute read. It's about a girl who is a bully because she was always the fat, fat girl. And now, um, at her last school, she was, um, uh, the girl who slept with all the guys, even though it wasn't true. So when she goes on holiday, um and stays with her aunt she gets to work in a place called last chance and she makes friends and she discovers that um there's more to feeling good about yourself than looking good um i really liked reading it it wasn't an original story in my opinion but i really liked it nonetheless and i will be reading more of her work very very soon because I have four other books that I really want to read and they are all by Sarah Dessen. Then I read um, my favorite steampunk that I've read so far. It's The Girl, Girl in Steel Corset by Katie Cross. This is the first in the steampunk chronicles and I really 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 liked it. It's about a girl who has a dark side to her and she doesn't know what's going on until um, Griffin uh, picks her up because she he thinks he hit her with the car and he takes her in and it all takes from there and I thought it was a really really good book and I'm really looking forward to the second book so yeah and the cover is gorgeous I gave this 5 out of 5 then I read 
The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the Kane Chronicles and it was fabulous, just like the first one. Um, the thing that makes this novel is the fact that his humor is so good. Um, he writes these books in the Kane Chronicles like he got a tape recording and he's just typing out what the main character said and I think that's really really nice way of incorporate, incorporating some humor in it and it's just a really funny book and this is the second book and the third book will be the last book so I'm kinda disappointed that there will only be three books but I really like this series I would recommend picking it up so those were the books that I finished in the month of July but I also have a couple that I started and did not finish yet. Um, I started Firebrand by Gillian Phillip and I'm only a couple pages in and it's a digital read. But um, yeah, I will be finishing that one in the next week or so. And then everyone who's been following me on Twitter knows what I'm going to talk about. I started The Host by Stephanie Meyer and it takes me forever to get through this book. I'm a little over halfway through, but it just goes on and on and on and on. And I have, I feel like Stephanie Meyer describes things that are really not important, important to the story. Like she tells us 20 times how purple the clay is in, in the cave. And she tells us, um, I, God knows how many times, um, what someone's eyes look like and how things are going in her head and how dark it is and how much her knees are hurting and just it feels like Belle all over again <laughs> and even though I have to admit that I think the writing is a little bit better than in the Twilight Saga um, I'm not sure about this book and I I'm determined to make it through it because I know that what I put it down I won't be able to pick it up again but um, no it's not for me so yeah and then I just started Blood Red Road by Moira Young I think that's how you say her first name um, this is a dystopian it's about a girl who um, tries to find her kidnapped brother and um, she discovers that she's a fierce survivor and um, all that stuff. But I read, um, I think, 40-ish pages, uh, 45. And so far, it's good. Um, it takes some time to getting used to the dialect that they're using, um, the accent. I'm not sure where it comes from, um, but since... English is not my first language. It's kind of hard to read it. Um, I don't have problems um, listening to um, accents or whatever, but reading it is something different and it just takes a bit to get used to it. But it doesn't really bother me. It feels like it's Hagrid talking to me all over again. Um, but uh, we'll be finishing this one hopefully soon. We have lovely weather outside, so um, as soon as I have this video I'll record it, I will upload it and I will head outside to read. So, yeah, Blood Red Road. And that's all that I read in the month of July. Um, I feel like I've been um, rushing through the books, but since the video is already 14 minutes long, um, I don't want to know how long it would have been if I hadn't rushed it. Um, so I hope you'll forgive me for that. Um, so yeah, that's what I read this month. Um, I had a great month in terms of reading. Um, the only disappointment that I had was Falling Under by Gwen Hayes purely because there's no relationship building. But yeah, and the host, of course, because I already told you that. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments below um, what books you read last month. Um, if there were any books that you would recommend or books that you um, wouldn't recommend because they were disappointing to you. And yeah, that's it for now and I'll talk to you guys later.